Hello and welcome. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so you don't miss out on any new updates from us. Today, I'm going to talk about Brendan Fraser. So, sit back, relax. Brendan Fraser makes a triumphant return in film with the role he played in The Whale. This film was premiered at Venice Film Festival. It received a six-minute standing ovation that moved him to tears. It marks the actor's first major part since 2013. Fraser rose to prominence in the early 1990s in comedy films like George of the Jungle, but he was most famous for his roles in The Mummy. After a string of box office successes in the 2000s and late 1990s, the actor was forced to step out of the limelight due to personal issues such as multiple surgeries and the loss of his mother, Carol. Fraser is now making a comeback in his career and has been nicknamed the Renaissance on TikTok. Here's everything you need to know about Fraser's life and career from his fame rise to his recent success stories. 1991, Brendan Fraser's feature film debut. In the early 1990s, Fraser made his debut in Hollywood with Dogfight. He was recognized for his acting abilities in the drama ties the following year. 1997, Brendan Fraser stars as George of the Jungle. The 1997 comedy film George of Jungle was Fraser's first big box office hit. It starred Leslie Mann and made nearly $180 million. Fraser starred in a spoof Tarzan that was based upon a cartoon series. 1998, Brendan Fraser wins critical acclaim in Gods and Monsters. Fraser was critically acclaimed for his role, a character in Gods and Monsters. This film was inspired by the life and work of James Whale, Frankenstein director. Although the film grossed only $6.5 million at the box office, it was nominated for numerous awards, including an Academy Award nomination and Best Screenplay based on material previously produced or published. 1999, Brendan Fraser rises to fame as the Mama franchise's star. Following the gods and monsters, Buzz Fraser was a huge success in 1999's The Mummy. The film was a huge commercial success and grossed over $416 4 cents million worldwide. In 2008, The Mummy Returns and The Mummy, Tomb of Dragon Emperor were released. Fraser reprised his role in each sequel. In the early 2000s, Brendan Fraser stars in many films. In the 2000s, Fraser starred in many films, including Bezold with Elizabeth Hurley and Looney Tunes back in action. He also starred in the Oscar-winning Crash. He also appeared on several TV shows, including Scrubs and King of the Hill. He was the first American-born actor to be inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame. 2008, Brendan Fraser undergoes multiple surgeries. In his profile, 2018 Fraser said that the effects of his stunts over the years were starting to show in his body and that he was being put together with tape and ice. I had to have a laminectomy. He explained to the publication that the lumbar surgery didn't work so they the procedure done again one year later. He had multiple surgeries over the next seven years, including a partial replacement of his knee and work on his back, which included bolting several compressed spinal pads together and having his vocal cords corrected. Late 2000s, Brendan Fraser gradually steps out of the spotlight. While Fraser was undergoing numerous surgeries, he also had personal struggles. Fraser and Afton Smith, his wife, announced their separation in December 2007 after nine years of marriage. I moved houses. I got divorced. Some children were born. They were born. But they are growing up. I was going through things which mold and shape me in ways that are not ready for until they go through them. Fraser said to GQ about that period in his life. Fraser gradually left the spotlight and began to scale back his involvement in TV and film projects in the latter part of 2010. 2016, Brendan Fraser's first interview in many years. Fraser appeared on AOL Build series in late 2016 to talk about his role in the affair. Many people were shocked at how sad Fraser looked. GQ later learned that Fraser was still grieving the loss of his mother Carol just days before he gave the interview. Fraser said that he had buried his mom. Fraser said that he believed he was in mourning and didn't understand what it meant. He said that he hadn't done any press for a while and was surprised by how the interview was structured. I wasn't sure what the format was, and I felt like, man, I got F. Old. This is how it's done now. Damn. 2018, Brendan Fraser claims that he was sexually assaulted by his father and blacklisted by Hollywood for coming forward. Fraser stated in his GQ interview that Philip Burke, 
the former president of Hollywood Foreign Press Association, the nonprofit organization that votes to the Golden Globe Awards, sexually assaulted Fraser during a luncheon at the Beverly Hills Hotel in 2003. Fraser's claims have been denied by Burke. Fraser described the incident as I felt sick. I felt like a little kid. It felt like a ball was in my throat. I thought I was going crazy. It was like invisible paint had been thrown on my face. Although he did tell his wife Afton about the events at the time, Fraser said to Q that he had not the courage to speak out earlier for fear of humiliation or damage to my profession. Fraser said that Burke's alleged experience made him feel isolated and made him retreat. He said that he became depressed after his encounter with Burke. I blamed myself and was miserable because I was saying, this is nothing. This guy reached out and got a feel. My work was rotting on the vine. It was something that had happened to me. In my mind, he said that he felt like the HFPA had blacklisted his after the incident. I don't know if this curried disfavor among the group. With HFPA, he said that the silence was deafening and added that he was seldom invited back to the Globes in 2003. 2018, Brendan Fraser starts his renaissance with various TV roles. Fraser started booking TV roles in 2018, including the role of Robotman on Titans. This role was later reprised by him on HBO Max's Doom Patrol. Many of his fans were excited about his return to acting and quickly called the Renaissance. October 2021, Brendan Fraser stars in the Batgirl movie. In October 2021, Fraser worked with DC Comics as he was cast in the role of Firefly, the villain in the Batgirl film starring Leslie Grace and Michael Keaton. Despite all the excitement, Batgirl was later canceled by Warner Bros. Discovery was canceled in August 2022. Directors Adelal Arbai and Bill Alfala responded to the cancellation with a heartfelt tribute. They said, Our incredible cast and crew did an amazing job and worked so hard in bringing Batgirl to life. It was a privilege to be part of this team. It was a pleasure to work alongside such great actors as J.K. Simmons and Michael Keaton, Brendan Fraser, Jacob Scipio and Corey Johnson, Rebecca Front, and especially Leslie Grace, who portrayed Batgirl so passionately, with dedication and humanity. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.